First, I want to give a shout out to 93 Sports News for his video yesterday on uh, the sad news regarding uh, Jimmy Superfly Snooker as far as being terminally ill. Um, I strongly suggest all of you to subscribe to 93 Sports News. Uh, I think that he uh, has uh, excellent content on his channel. And uh, anyway, the uh, article that I'm referencing is from Russell Zone. And it's written by Nick Poglino. And in the article, he, it states that uh, it confirms that Snooker is terminally ill. Though his wife uh, states that he does not have cancer, but he is terminally ill. Uh, it says, uh, quote, as noted during yesterday's hearing in a Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania court, lawyers for WWE Hall of Famer Jimmy Snooker claim Snooker's health is rapidly diminishing and he has been entered into hospice with only six months left to live. This forced Snooker to appear at the hearing via FaceTime, as he was unable to travel to the courtroom. Uh, Robert Curran, uh, Snooker's lawyer, stated, The former wrestler has suffered a number of infections and was hospitalized on Monday after the most recent infection led to psychosis and hallucinations. Uh, furthermore, uh, Snooker's wife, uh, Carol, this is unquote, confirmed her husband is in hospice care and added that he is, quote, is receiving morphine and other drugs to make him medically comfortable. And when they start talking about like that, medically comfortable, yeah, he's he's dying. Uh, the trial situation is basically, uh, but, but before I go into that, uh, the article goes on to say, uh, as noted, Carol testified Snicker does not remember the judge's name in the case. And said he is suffering from psychosis and will often try to escape their home because he thinks he's supposed to be at a WWE match. She said there's been rumors floating around that claiming he has terminal cancer, but that's not the case. To clarify, uh, nobody said today it was terminal cancer, just that he's terminal. He's had other health issues since his last court date. And that's from uh, a reporter by the name of Sarah Cass. Um, what I was going to say is... The, the trial situation stems from allegations. It was a situation where a girlfriend of his, I, I forgot the details, but it was a girlfriend of his that was murdered, I think it was back in the 80s. And it was a, it was, it was a cold case. And I think the murder was uh, never solved. It was unsolved. But Snooker has always been a suspect in that murder. Or that death. I can't remember whether they determined it was a death or or whether they did think it was a homicide. But I can't remember. But I do know now that they suspect that Snooker murdered her. And that's what he was on tr that's what he's on trial for. But now that he's terminal, uh how is this going to be rectified as far as trial? But anyway, uh I don't know, but I, I strongly suspect to that Snooker may have uh, CTE, which is that illness that the doctor portrayed by Will Smith in the, uh, that movie that came out, Concussion, uh, that has been very prominent in former football players such as uh, Dan Durison and uh, Junior Seau, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, uh, can't think of his name right now. Uh, Officer Hightower. Just can't think of his name right now from from the police cabin movies. Uh, Bruce or uh, uh, Smith, Bubba Smith. Uh, you know people like that. I wonder if he has CTE. I think it's called uh, chronic. What is it? Chronic traumatic encephalitis. I think it's called. But uh, I wonder if he has that. You know, talking about uh, hallucinations and. I think he's supposed to be at a WWE match. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I wonder if if that's what's possibly one of the things that's going on with him. And I know that that only can be determined after death via autopsy. So uh, that's just speculation on my part. But there's some sad news about Jimmy Superfly Snooker, one of the greatest wrestlers in WWE history. Uh, tell me what you guys think.